Hey, I'm Kev Kim. Welcome back to MotoGP 19, where we return the last time out in the Netherlands, face it successfully, and hopefully it can lead a charge in the last two thirds of the season for Kev Stone and maybe challenge for a top three in the championship. We'll see if we can continue a good run around the Saxon wing in Germany. So in free practice, three were the quickest by half a second ahead of Antonelli, De La Portia, Mazia. Mino, Suzuki, and McPhee tied. Time wise, just ahead of Arbolono, Onshu, Bernardi round at the top 10, Ramirez, Tuba, Fernandez, and Foggy are joining us in the top 14 shootout in qualifying too. But who else will? Binder, Rodrigo, Connect down in 17th, and Cornfell just missing out as we've got Perez in last. So I reckon we'll see Stone's team might be one of those riders who made it through. Indeed we do, but we've got Binder, Vietti and Rodrigo as well. Uh, Stone goes early. Bit of a gamble because the practice session really did dry up. And so in this 15 minute session, it could be the last across the line who maybe grabs pole, but Stone getting his laps out early in this session. Uh, there's a couple other riders doing the same. There's this treacherous first corner. As the sun peers through as well, shows that the track is going to be drying up during this session, probably. So let's see if Stone can get close to that 34.5, set right near the end of free practice route. And you'll see lots of that screaming from the bike. Uh, it's very undulating, lots of left handers, quite high speed. It's actually going to go off that first sector. It's all on the power a bit early. But that's what you've got to do around here, such at a high speed and slow speed stuff. It's all oh, in, get out. Not a good run through the waterfall. And then onto the back straight. And the heavy braking zone to the last couple of corners. But at penultimate corner, it's such a late apex. And the last corner, such an early apex, because going uphill kind of just drifts away from you. But 35.5, not too bad, but we can go a bit better on his second out here, Stone. They're going much better for the first part. Yeah, lots of curves for the second. Just quicker. Maybe a bit quicker than that though. Can he improve his that time? So a bit wide on the rider in front. Barely lift through that left. There we go, three tenths, so oh, that's better. Here I through the left though. Okay, such high speed through that. Very intimidating corner to if you get it wrong. They go on to the back straight. The per drive six tenths up. This is better. That's yeah, so always gone very wide. Need to clear this rider. You go towards the line. 35 flat, but you can go quicker than that. One final attempt here. Bit wide there, managed to pick up the power nice and early. And look at that, six cents up. But exquisite first sector. Let's 
So really, I'm riding on the tire there, through the lefts. But then more fun stuff through the quick lefts. Look at that, eight tenths up. I know, a bit early there, had to put a bit more throttle in. Through the middle of the corner. Now through the waterfall. This should be at least half a second up. Still around eight tenths. Again, traffic, even though it's much smoother. In the penultimate corner, much smoother out as well. Uh, it's out of the corner. It's going to be a 34, 33. Stonker. Uh, Stone on pole wants to get 1.3 seconds quicker than Anthony. He didn't even need to do that final lap. With Delaporte on the front row, Connect on the second row of Mazia and Mino. Salvaging is qualifying. Ramirez head of Suzuki and Onshu. With Vietti ran at the top 10 head of Arbolano and Rodrigo. Then we've got Tuba, McVie and Fanati on the fifth row. And on the sixth row, Foggia, Fernandez and Binder. So we are revving up then from Powers. It's pouring it down for this 14 lap race. To get underway. As it's like Della Porter and Kinnett have bowed through. You can't go down the inside. I'll oh, see you, mate, here. The stone back up into the top three. Oh, it's going to be a long one here, isn't it? 14 laps of this. Barely see through this. Oh, in rain, as the Porter charging for the lead. Could see a battle between the Max Racing boys as well. The connect right behind Stone. As Ramirez all over the Zuki. So is on shoot. Binder into the points head of. Or McPhee head of Binder, shall I say, into the points. As he's now got Mazzy on Stone's tail. Let's connect down to sit, back move on, shoot. It's two up to 13 ahead of Fanati, Vietti into the top 10 of our below note. The stone flat out through the waterfall, gets the run. It's Antonelli and Della Porta busy back to each other. As he got through, it's gone a bit wide. I think on this occasion. Got to run into the final corner though. Down the inside of Antonelli as they able to lead to cross the line. Just 13 more laps as Fiatti rounds out the top 10 behind Suzuki, Mino, Onchu, Ramirez. Kinnett and Mazia. As uh, so here comes everyone down the inside of Stone. Very course into that first corner. Here comes Ramirez. The stone gets into teammate Kinnett. As oh, Kinnett goes back behind. The stone gets hit by Ramirez. Here comes Mino and Onshu. So it seems like a lap of two halves for Stone. The first half is not very memorable, but the second half is. Just got a thing on for the second half as he's in the top five still. Down the inside, Kinnett. Oh, Kinnett holds on. Stone's got the run, though. Heading uphill. Slots in front of his teammate. So back up to fourth. Six, ten second gap to Antonelli instead of Porter and Mazia. Bow over the lead. Oh, Stone, a lot of curb on the inside there. Might allow his teammate to run into the final corner. Looks like Stone has held it around the outside. Uh, so we feel up to 14, Ed Fanati. Uh, so we go on to the third lap. Mazia falls at 36, 7. Stone a second slower than that. Got lots of work to do then, Stone. It's all oh, the lock, front locks there. 
Gets a run off the corner. Now, tyre could be an issue here with the wet tyres. So something got to be careful using first gear, especially. Let's go. What's this? Everyone just diving down the inside again into the right. So Stone holding on to seven. On to eighth now. Samir's just in the way. As Anthony gets behind Smazio, he got on you behind. I'll sign up to sit now, should I say. As he gets past teammate and Mino. Oh, he's very good in that section, Stone, but here comes Mino fighting back. The stone fell out through the waterfall. Means Mino's gone a bit wide with the title line in. And Stone can hold on. He's all day exit curb as well. Let's go uphill. Close back up on the top three. 37-4, it's better. Half a, sec half a second quicker, but still not those 36s. Come on, in the first corner again. We're able to get that launch off the corner, though, by running a bit wide. Trying to run a bit of a tighter line here, so he doesn't get ambushed on this four flat. See himself worked as Fanati up the third team, made a very country win Arbelone. I'm at V point for a point with Foggy up. Fernandez up to 19, where it off a or not. Well, they're battling hard, just like the top three. Look at that three wide in front for first, as Massia takes the lead, but Dele Porto fancying a sniff as well. There's here you go, stone section. There's four greens to the point element feet. Oh, or not. That through the waterfall. Finally part of this group, the group again is stone. That's all Guru making up places. Little stone a bit wide in the final corner. Four exit as he gets into the 36s though. 36-8. Much better. It's all stone. Goes in very deep. Gets into the border. And it goes very wide in the next corner. Basically just gives it back to the Italian. So trying to hold that tight line. Trying to fend off everyone. But look at that from Mino around the outside. Down to fifth. With Stone. On his fifth lap. Just ten to go, including this one. Oh, but Mino runs wide. Stone picks his pocket as Antone and Mazia battle for the lead. Well, it's a bit like Aston, isn't it? Stone battling it at front here, but he was leading a bit more now, and just couldn't get away until the final few of that. So we'll see if that's the case here as well. Now, I said tyre wear could be an issue in the second half. This long race lap-wise, and it's a hard track on tyres as well. That's in ring. So it's unusual nature. We'll see how well these wet tyres hold up. So go a bit better in the final corner. And that's a good launch. Try and get past the Porter back up into third as Onshu. And Rodrigo now back in over 10th. So I'm really easing it into the first corner. He got past the airport. I don't think he has. Almost. Almost past the Leopard.
one of his best first sections of the races. So looking up to 19th here to Binder, McPhee out of the points, battling for 17th now. The charging Japanese rider. Another one is Sasaki, up to 18th here to Fetch and Cornfold. As connecting to the top five here to Mino. So we know, going out into stone time. As the top four very close as Tuba gets into the top ten ahead of Rodrigo. Oh, Stone having to lift through the waterfall. Just caught the porter at a bad place there. So the 1.3 second gap. The riders behind this top four. But Stone running to the porter while he gets the run. Into the final corner, fancy second. Oh, Masia holds on. As Anthony gets away a tiny bit as he approaches the halfway mark of the race. So Fee's still battling for 16th. Hard running for the Scott. I thought I liked this red. I thought it ran well. Obviously not. As has Stone held on to third. Oh, just getting on the power. Loses the rear slightly. And Salah battling with Fernandez. He seems to be dropping down the field, the Spaniard. As Blue Famous up to 24th ahead of Arenas. Or not. As Mazzi and Antone once again battling through the fast left. Stone now chasing him as Binder up to 90 ahead of Sasaki, whose brief charge seems to be over. Oh, that's the best he's taken that left-hander so far this race. Needs to double pass at the right. Fast gone is not quite. Masia fights back, but Stone flew out through the waterfall. Finds a gap as they level. Heading into the final section. And the seventh for that. This measure is still on the outside. And it's like Stone's got the lead. And he crossed the line with 36 to 9, 3 tenths ahead of Mazza, Antony, Del Porta, Kinect, Mino, Ramirez, Suzuki, Onshu, and Tuba at the halfway mark of this race. Oh, it's gone a bit wide in the first corner. Saud Mazia back by. So, once again, this way again, a superb launch. I'll take advantage of that. It's, oh, is that Antonelli getting into Sony? It is. Oh, the elbows are coming out in the second half of this race. Stone back down the inside of Antonelli. Back down the inside of Mazia, is he? The one who keeps seeing the changes here, Mazia seems to have run right there. Oh, Stone trying to get on the power. As here comes their Porter. As 13 to the top 10 ahead of two, but. As oh, Stone hit the curb on the inside, run wide. Time to back off there. So now the Leopard part of Rider to lead. So once again, maximum commitment through the waterfall. Pitchy is one in this race and takes back the lead. Nicely done. As we know, up to seventh ahead of Suzuki. Uh, it's the battle of the Japanese riders slow down the field. 17th. 18th between only South African as well. Binder getting in between Sasaki and Agua. Let's see if this is the time of the race where Stone can get away then. This is where we start to see those seeds in Assen. Which grew into a race win. That's, oh, he's skidding on the surface of the water here. Uh, it's gone very wide. Would like to turn into the corner eventually. Oh, he's trying to set up the exit. Around the outside of the Porter. 
Oh, the Italian says no. Down the inside of the airport. Uh, and Dorian says less. Backed up the left hand a bit better than he did the previous lap as well. So just about holds on to the lead. Want to power nice and early through that fast left. And miss the inside curb on this occasion. There's Masaki and Pierre's about over 28. Here comes Yachenko as well. It's about over the wooden spoon. How about this battle for the lead? Once again, level between Stone and Mazio. How many times have we said that in this lead battle? That split. Good thing for Stone, though. Leads across the line. Got to remember that. Heading towards his last five laps of the race. Looks like Ramirez leading the group behind now. Stone holding the inside. Holds the lead. So I used the break there. Maybe a bit premature he's been hit it's that Mazia bite Stone got the run down the inside of the Spaniard and now the Spaniard's not particularly strong for the two lefts what about the exit on this occasion doesn't seem to have had it Oh, very wide, Stone. Very wide. It's all very slow through the left. Had to catch the rear a bit. A great smooth run through the waterfall. He's got a couple of tents. Might be a bit more. And into the penultimate corner. Not very comfortable through there, though. Oh, I love the apex in the final corner as Lopez in the top 20 had a bind up. Also battling in the 20s, a lot of battling at the front as well as now connecting to the top five head of Ramirez, Mino, Suzuki and Onshu. Dirty rounding out the top 10. As we've got four laps remaining. Still nothing to choose between this top four. Stone trying to hold the inside, but oh, Mazia slides through. Stone slides back though, he gets the exit. Nice smooth exit as well. Now the double left. Much smoother run through that fast left as well. Biggest lead he's had for a few laps into that section of a quarter of a second. Quite a bold close it's been between this top four. And oh, wide. Poor run. Once again, fly out through the waterfall. Still gains a tenth in that section on Mazia. We're now good the Spaniard is into the penultimate corner. Stone goes wide. Gets the drive though. Into the final corner. And it's like still holding the lead. Three to go. Manzi, Antonelli, Del Porto, Ramirez, head of Connect, Mino, Suzuki, Onshu. Two by now rounding out the top ten. Got packs everywhere, battling like a hell in these wet conditions. It's a classic Moto3 race. The power slides in the wet. It's all stone off track. Poor run. 
And he's gone wide. That might allow a pass down the inside. You can hear him being swarmed by Mazia. He just chops him off. Oh, he chops him off twice. Stone wide. There's Venati and Foggy, the Italians battle over 30. It's the second gap behind Ramirez is actually gaining a bit. It was the group. And Stone back up to third as Antonelli of these onto the penultimate lap of the race. Mazia, Stone, Della Porta, Ramirez, Connect, Mino, on to Suzuki. And Vietti now back up back up to Tim. Stone very wide in the first corner. But holds on to second. If he tries to chase down the championship leader, isn't he, Antonetti? Stone taking the inside line. It's actually worked out very nicely that. Run for the right hand up. There's the Suki head of on shoot. But Fee up to 16 head is the Saki. Messi up to third head of Doyle Porter. All the tyres are running on empty. These riders are as well, no doubt they will be. A physical track. It's been some tough battling. Uh, it's great move in the left. So unable to rejoin ahead of Antonelli. As he goes through the waterfall, still flat. That's why how worn these tyres are. Uh, so we've got one final lap to go for a victory here in Germany. Some great powerboat racing here. And what a time to put that. Your fastest lap, 36.3. There's the rest of the top nine virtually together now. Once again, Stone just showing he's maybe got a bit more left in the tank compared to the rest. Gap was seven tenths, but it's gone a bit wide there. Or is he just trying to get the run off the corner? I think he is. Going to the top 20 head of Binder. Cornfed head of Lopez for 80. The feedback for 60 with Arbolino. What's he doing down there, Italian? Now got to see up the 21st head of Binder. Binder had a poor second half of the race. Well, it's just half of that to go. Oh, that was close to the bay this time. The only time this race is probably had to lift through the waterfall, but look at the gap, 1.3 seconds. Uh, so he heads towards the final corner, Vietti in two, but battling for... That top 10 minute feedback for a point with Sasaki. But no one's going to be battling stone for the race victory. Out the final corner. Second consecutive victory. He's back on form. Is the Andorran. So stone won by 1.2 seconds in the end ahead of Antonelli. Della Portia will round out the podium ahead of Mazia. Now you've got Kinect getting the top five. Two max racing bikes in the top five. Great for the team. Head of Ramirez Mino. Suzuki on to Fietti winning that battle for 10th ahead of Tuba and Rodrigo. They've got Fietti, Benati, should I say, Foggia and McPhee grabbing that final point as he finally pulled away from Sasaki. Alberno, Kornfeld, Lopez, they go around out the top 20 as you've got Masaki in last. So in the Riders' Championship, Anthony still lead to a by a slightly comfortable 13 points. And into the second half of the season. Then we've got Kinect 25 points further back. 
Then it's there a Portia. Mino rounds out the top five, but the fast charging stones in triple figures now. Just nine points by Niata, and he's up ahead of Suzuki and Onshu now. And you've got Ramirez and Rodrigo round out the top ten. The Tuba, Vietti, Arbolona, McPhee, and Binder as up to 20 of his Venati head of Agura. His best result of the season so far. Sasaki, best of the non point scores in 22nd. Uh, Sergio Garcia down four places. And Masaki in 30th. And in the team's championship, seven points between Best of Capital Dubai and Sync 58. With Max Racing closing fast, 34 points back in third, 25 ahead of the Leopard. And you've got a massive gap to KTM IO in fifth. Eddie Grassini, Sky Racing Team VR46, Honda Team Asia, Snikers, Jonas, Spirita, Green Power, and Procell GP. That's uh, very good. It's just still with no points on the board. Head of Angonietto, Skull Rider, Mugen Race, and Avintia. Rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race, and now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. Uh, it's just two races ago before Aston, he was close to dismissal. If he had a poor race there, he probably would have been gone. Stone, but now with two victories, he's the team leader again. Head of Ken Het. Uh, it's another maximum in the progression has. Kaiser Rossi, he's flying excellent when he wins the Grand Prix. Dovi in second, Marcus the third, compete the podium after the race on the German circuit. Well, DT1 in Moto2. Very happy as today wasn't a great day for us, says Anthony. We started well, but someone was too fast for him. We got ahead straight away. We should have been able to do more, but we didn't make any mistakes. We were expecting better than this. Not sure he's actually watching the same race as us because it took us a few more laps than that. All 14 to get ahead has. The frame also gets improved before we head to Bruno. Very important to improve the frame as well around. We go from one of the shortest circuits on the calendar to the longest, I believe, on the calendar in the Czech Republic. And a very different type of circuit. Once again, undulating, but not as high speed. Got some very technical sections, especially that middle part of the lap. So let's see a stone continue the winning feeding and closing on that top five in the championship. Thanks for watching. We'll find out next time.